Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So today guys, what I'm going to show you is how to check your hard drive speed, whether that is a mechanical hard drive or an NVMe or SSD. I'm gonna show you how to check the speed of your drive and what the speed of the write and read is on that. And so there are a couple methods I'm going to show you actually. Jumping right into this, the first thing we're gonna go to is our command prompt. Now, I've put mine on the desktop. Um, if yours is not on the desktop, just click start, type CMD, and you will find it. Um, but go ahead and run this as administrator. So when you do find it, right click on it and hit run as administrator. And that should come right up for you. Right there, it says administrator, shows you're in administrator mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this a little bit. Now, this is just a simple, and this is also kind of an old school way to check the speed of your drives. I'm going to show you a couple more here momentarily, um, but if you kind of wanted to go back old school and check this out, you can. So once you get into your command prompt, um, any um, wherever you're at here, where it just happened to be in the C Windows System 32 directory, this will work from any directory. So what you're going to do is type winsat, W-I-N-S-A-T, and then disk space hyphen drive space and then the drive letter of the drive that you want to check. Now in my computer, I happen to have three hard drives. C is my primary and then D and E as my platter drives and their backup drives. Um, so we're just going to check the C drive. So once you have that whole syntax typed out, you simply hit enter and it will do its thing. And guys, don't worry, I will actually have the, uh, the command down in the description below for you. So as you guys see, that went pretty quick. It uh, does all this stuff. It assesses everything, et cetera, et cetera. It gives you a runtime. And right around here, it will tell you basically your read and write. So it read at 56.26 Mbps and it wrote at 50, I'm sorry, 6527.62 Mbps. Now again, um, this, my main storage, it's a Samsung NVMe 990 Pro, so it's very, very quick. Um, so as you can see, those numbers are pretty good. Now, if we were to do the same syntax here, let's recall that last command just by hitting our up arrow. Um, now let's do the D drive, which is a mechanical drive. Um, and just remember these numbers here uh, for the NVMe. And let's do a mechanical drive, which is a D. I think I hit enter, there we go. Now, as you guys can see, it's actually taken a little bit longer to go through that, but it will finish. That's why I highly recommend SSD or NVMe drives. They are so much faster than your standard platter drives. So um, it looks like it's probably almost done there. And when that does finish, we're going to be looking at the same location, really. We're going to be looking for the uh, this sequential read and write. So, and there it is. And we are looking at this now. <laughs> huge significant difference here. Uh, 154.78 Mbps for read, 124.18 uh, for write. So, you know, you compare that with this, and honestly, guys, there's no comparison. Uh, I know I'm not making this video about what types of drives you should use, but highly recommend Solid State or NVMe. So that is one way to do that, guys. Again, that is the command there, and I will go ahead and put that down in the description below. So let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now, another way that we can check this, we right click on our desktop, or I'm sorry, our taskbar down there and go to task manager. And then you want to go to the performance tab here. Now over here to the left, you have various options here, your CPU and memory and what they're doing. But here you have your disk drives. And like I said before, I have C, uh, D and E drives. Um, and so once you bring that up, click on what drive you want to check the speed of and look down here. Now, right off the bat, you might think, hey, there's some kind of a problem because this is telling me uh, zero kilobytes read speed. And this one's kind of just bouncing back and forth at a very low 
KBS. Um, but that is perfectly normal. And the reason for that is the performance tab in Task Manager here gives you kind of a live reading what is going on. So right now I'm not really reading anything off of the drive, just normal operating system stuff. At the same time, really not writing much off of the drive either. So that is just something to keep in mind. But this next thing I'm going to show you can kind of coincide with that. So let's move this aside here. Now I have downloaded a little utility here called Crystal Disk Mark. And if you bring up the website, link is also in the description below. And you're going to scroll all the way down. I already showed you guys this Crystal Disk Info. Um, I do have a video on that too. Very useful tool. But if you uh, come down here, the Crystal Disk Mark, and go ahead and download that and get that saved and extracted to your desktop. And let's uh, go from there. Let me minimize that. Um, once you extract it to your desktop, you're going to get this folder multiple different options here. This is one of those applications you actually don't have to install. It will just run from the extracted folder. And depending on your PC, most of you should be running the disk mark 64. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, once we, let me put these side by side. So it's actually pretty easy to use from here. Like you have this drop down and it'll say, well, what drive do you want to test? This is kind of what we looked at in the command prompt as far as when we typed what drive we wanted uh, or here in the task manager performance tab. Um, but right here, you can choose which drive you want. I want my C drive, my main one. That is the fast one. And right here, you choose how many reads and writes uh, that you want this drive to uh, apply, that you want Crystal Disk Mark to apply to test your drive. Uh, for purpose of this demonstration, um, I'm just going to choose one so it doesn't take that long. So once you choose how many you want, um, you'll go choose the 64 and make sure you're on the drive and you want to do it by MBPS. That's what we want to test it by. So once you do that, you're just going to click all over here. And once that kind of starts and gets going, I will show you something here. Now, it does take a minute to kick in, but take a look over here as we're on the hard drive. You see some stuff already happening in the graph here. And you see how these numbers are going up. So it's actually reading because of this. And you see the numbers have gone up here. It's actually reading and writing to this drive. Uh, little chunks of data and stuff like that. So. Uh, you'll start seeing this activity, and if you look, there will be a little bit of a difference, but the read and write speeds, um, they will kind of match what's going on over here, even though this hasn't picked up a write speed yet. But, uh, but yeah, and there, like I said, there will be some differences, so um, just keep an eye on this. Now, like I said, this is live time, so now you will be seeing that data process in there. So it kind of looks like we're almost done over here. And these are pretty good read times uh, from this. It, it pretty much matches the specifications of what this NVMe 990 Pro um, is and what they advertise that you can get with this. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this output here. And as you see, it is starting to write or uh, to give the right results of this. Um, so again, read speed 5800-ish and writing it about the same, 5,700 or so. A very good tool to have. Again, the link is down in the description below. And we'll just go ahead and let that finish up when, basically there's nothing to do when you finish it up, when it's, it's done. You just basically see what your results are. So anyway, guys, that is a couple good ways to check the read and write speeds of your hard drives, whether those are SSDs, NVMEs, or mechanical. If this helped you out at all, consider clicking that like button down there. And if you're not subscribed, feel free to do so for future content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.